This is Shivani with Go Engineer with what's new in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2021. This year we have improvements from setup to post processing. But let's start with our brand new physics. Free surface fluid flow can now be used alongside rotating regions. In this example, we have a rotor mixing a non Newtonian fluid in a tank open to air. As always, a transient calculation is required. Rotation allowed is the sliding mesh, or global rotating methods. Sliding mesh takes the mesh elements within the rotating region and spins them at RPM. In this way, it emulates the blades pushing on the fluid. This is ideal for mixing tasks. In this animation, I changed the legend colors to better emphasize the mixing interface and volume fraction on a cross-sectional plane is a common plot that I create for free surface mixtures. Now, beyond the ability of saving project level templates, we can create a database of common results called scenes. We only need to give the scene template a name, and in all of the projects we can now import that result setup. Selecting particular plots exports only that scene. But with no selections, all shown plots are exported to that scene. Note the torque goal plot. Torque changes over time as the fluids are mixed. But what is the maximum torque over the range of time? Now, goal plots provide an extra column outputting maximum values and what time step they occur at. Let's move to a steady state heat generation example. In the setup, units are updated to include the much requested mill unit. This is one one thousandth of an inch, now available in the length dropdown. As we begin to input data, Heat sources now include an each component checkbox. In the past, input values were considered totals, divided per unit volume. Now, inputting heat sources is more versatile and easier than ever. Electrical resistance also sees an efficiency improvement, with the ability to input total resistance right from the property window. Looking at a temperature surface plot, with global min and max turned on, we see that the hottest components are the PCBs. But what is the maximum temperature in the batteries? Goals are an important part of the setup process, and now, beyond the maximum of particular goal output, we can also use equation goals to output the maximum, minimum, or average of a range of goals. To input a range, Separate chosen goals with a semicolon, or use the syntax of a period, then asterisk, to gather all the goals that start a certain way. If your goal names contain a parenthesis, use a backslash to denote that the parenthesis is text and not part of the equation. Our maximum equation goal gives us a single value marking the maximum temperature of those batteries. Alternatively, we can take advantage of visual outputs to produce similar information. The surface plot currently shows the maximum temperature of the entire plot, including the PCBs. In 2021, if I crop this plot, the plot maximum updates. With these improvements in 2021, I can very easily see where and what are the maximum values of components. I'm fortunate that so far I've only needed the default volume fraction and temperature plots. But what am I to do if I need to output a result that isn't available by default? Flow simulation has allowed custom parameters to be built in the engineering database. But with 2021, we can now use custom parameters in other custom parameters, allowing for a much simpler equation representing our custom outputs. View these custom parameters by selecting Add Parameters and the Custom drop-down. Finally, I want to measure the efficiency of my enclosure. 
How was heat being transferred into it? And how much is transferred out into the environment? Flux plots are great for sanity checks and to isolate heat paths through certain components. In this case, the enclosure touches many components that contribute to its heat flux. With 2021, we can combine these into type, allowing for a quick and clear sanity check. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2021 provides fantastic new physics with rotating regions combined with free surface fluids and many efficiency techniques to make setup and post-processing of our analyses faster and easier than ever before. This has been Shivani with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.